Hi everybody, it's time for a thing a week. Uh, after setting up a whole bunch of people's sites, I discovered that a lot of people out there don't know how to use the numbering system on their site so that you can use the SiteMark app uh, on Archer's Advantage Online or Archer's Mark on the iPhone or Android to site in your bow so you can have all of your marks. So here's the gist of how this works. So take a look at the site here. Now the, the site has numbered graduations on the side here. Now the knob also has numbered graduations on the knob. So the first thing that you'll want to do when your knob is set to zero and it lines up with that little hash mark right there, you'll want to make sure that the site is actually dead center. The site indicator needle is actually dead center in a number. So in this case, my site's already set up and ready to go, so it's all set and it's dead center. Here's the basics of how this works. So take a look here. I'm going to take one full, see this site is on 60 right now. I'm going to take one full revolution on the knob. So now I'm back on zero, oh, almost, let's see. I'm back on zero, and now the site is on 61. So each mark is one full revolution on the knob. So this site setting right now is 61.0. So 61 and the site is on zero. So now, if I site my bow in and let's say my 60 yard mark is somewhere right here. So take a close look here on the middle of the knob. I mean on the, on the indicator needle there. So you see that it is uh, just a little bit, it's close to 59, but it's not quite 59. It's just one hash before 60. So if I take a look and I look here at the knob, it's actually 69.1. So you would enter 69.10 in your site marking app. So take a look at the knob here. So the knob goes one, one, five, two, two, five, three, three, five, four, four, five, 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 six, so on and so forth. So if I look now, I see that my indicator needle is sort of in between 59 and 60. So my site is now on 59.6. And then this would be 59.65 is one click. Now one click on this site is zero 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 one five six one click so that's very precise so you can be very precise at your site setting so just a little note when you're setting up your site set up a horizontal line on your target so that you're dealing with only the horizontal axis when you're sighting in and make the line that you set up as narrow as you can stand to aim at and you sight in a really good 20 yard mark and make it extremely precise and then sight in a 60 yard mark and make that extremely precise. You can let your sight vary along the line horizontally as long as your pin is on the line when the shot breaks. You get that on the line, then feed those numbers into your sight mark app and it will give you back every single yard all the way from zero to a hundred and whatever. So here's an example. I'm taking a look here and let's say I have range finded a target that is 42 yards. So my site mark app says that my site needs to be on 53.8. I will slide that to a little bit above 53 and then I will turn that down to 53 and I'll watch my knob here. So there's zero and I'll roll my clicks on around here to seven, five, eight, 53, 53.8. 53 so now I have precisely set my sight for 42 yards. Usually the difference when you have light competitors, like you have the greatest of the great on target number one on a field archery uh, course or a 3D course or something like that, this has to be extremely precise because the difference between who gets to win and who gets to be second or third often comes down to who has the best sight marks.